Hi, today we're going to navigate speedily in Excel data. Uh, the author of this original page is James T. Severson. It was originally written on January 2007. It was taken from the Journal of Accountancy. Um, our video is going to be done by Kalepi Lay, who just had a, who just had a kid. Congratulations. And by myself, Chad Nielsen and Ariane Hayola Castillo. The key concepts behind this wiki is what we're going to do is quickly and easily locate information or identify worksheet by the click of a single button. The Excel button function we will be using is form controls button and macro, which we've previously done. The newly created macro button will take us to the desired worksheet. There, another button will bring us back to the worksheet we were previously on. The company that we have created is Signature Weddings. It's LDS Wedding Planning. Uh, today we have a very cute couple named Zach and Melissa Taylor are madly in love. Uh, their wedding is on June 30th of this year. Um, it's going to be at the Salt Lake Temple in Utah. It's going to be a beautiful day. And um, so what, what this page is all about, on the couple information as you can see right here, we've created a macro already just to show you, for example. So you click on the couple info, it takes us to their page where we can enter in their, their foods, their, their colors, their music. Um, they want a reggae wedding, and so we're going to return home with this return home button that we've created to get back. So that's pretty much what we're going to be doing today. And just to show you one more time the wedding details, click on wedding details. Um, we can see where the reception is going to be at and, and different, different aspects, so we can easily click around, and now we can return home with one click of a button. And that's all we're going to be doing today is these, these buttons created through Macro. So right now we're going to show you a button that we're going to make for the payment plan. So what you got to do is just go to Developer Ribbon, Insert, and you'll see that there are four con form controls. Um, it has icons for different controls that you want to input in your spreadsheet. However, we're going to look for the button, so it's the top left button. Just click on that, and you can insert your button wherever you want. So we're going to go ahead and insert it near the payment plan, and it comes up right here. Um, as you can see, the screen popped up, Assign Macro. So we can assign it a name. So we're going to put My Payment and press Record. It will bring up another page where we're going to input the name, the shortcut key. We're going to press Tab and Shift. And you can assign any shortcut key. So we're going to put P for Payment and press OK. And right now you can see it's recording because you see the stop recording. So all you have to do is go down to the spreadsheet and click on, click on payment plan and you can insert your, your mouse wherever you want it to go. So we'll put it by the payment method and press stop recording. So let's go back to the contents page. Let's test the button. So press the button and it'll take us automatically to the payment method, to the payment plan. So we'll go back in. You can go ahead and rename your button. So just click on there and we'll put payment plan. And there you have the button. So once again, payment plan, it automatically show up. So we're going to show you once again, just so that you can get it. We're going to insert a button to return home. So go insert top left button right here. Insert your button right there. And since we already have my return, return two, we'll just put my return three, just so we don't get confused. And press record. And then shortcut key, since we already have Shift R, we'll go ahead and Shift U and press OK. So once again, it's recording. We'll go ahead to the contents page and click on wherever you want the cursor, the mouse to go and press stop recording. So let's test it out, payment plan, and click on the button to go to return home, and it all like automatically goes back to the contents page. So once again, you can go ahead and rename your My Return. But for the video, I think we're finished with everything. So once again, we want to say congratulations to Zach and Melissa Taylor for getting married in June 30th. Hopefully all the wedding planning goes great. And you can be like our partner, Kalepe. He's already, he had a baby. So hopefully in the next year, you'll have a baby. Congratulations.